Hello everyone. Today I have filmed for you guys a awesome video and a video I have wanted to do for a very long time and something that I have been requested to do and that is a tack locator. I know I haven't been filming in a while and I am incredibly sorry for that. It's been kind of a mix of laziness mixed with perhaps busyness I guess um, and also I've had a few health problems this year so that's been a bum but I can film now and that is good. So updates. Until just about a few weeks ago Beetle has been lame. It's kind of been annoying because he was just getting back into work and he was doing so well and he was still enthusiastic to work and then he became lame. This lameness wasn't an injury. I just like to point that out. I'm not going to talk about it but someone did make him lame and it was very frustrating for me because they were very rude and arrogant about it. He's only just coming back into work now. It's been a rough journey because I couldn't work him. He's very thoroughbred and he's just been very He's not coping being in his paddock, but I couldn't take him out until now, which is really hard because um, it's just watching him sort of sulk in his paddock is just not nice and I'm sure he's not having a blast. I mean, he's got friends, but it's just, it's not the same as working and he was so keen to work before and I feel like I've let him down by choosing this person to be with him and to work on him. So that's that. I have started in the distance that I made last made a video, um, a new equine fashion and lifestyle blog called The Salt Lick. And it's actually the funnest thing to run. Um, it's stressful and hard work, but it's just my niche and I really enjoy it. So um, I'll leave links below, but it is a in my opinion, it looks amazing and I'm a perfectionist, so for now, I enjoy it. Be sure to leave some suggestions for videos down in the comments. I can't do them all. I wanted to do a saddle pad collection, but with that being said, I have like a hundred saddle pads and I've got new ones coming at the moment, so I thought until my saddle pad collection's actually like, you know, stable, I'll just show you what I've got in this tour, but I won't actually give you like a proper view of all my saddle beds. So this is my tack corner and my friend in the background. So I will start um, with one corner and then I will move around. <laughs> so to start off with I have my helmet which I just hang here and it is in a Sam Shield bag to see old Shannon so it's just like in a little um, dust bag inside that because I like looking after it and then um, inside these little pockets I have gloves so I have my black ELT gloves and then I have more black ELT gloves and then I have, so my, how do you say it, Rockle, Rockle, Rockle Navy gloves, which I use for home use. And then I have my Rockle cream gloves, which I use for shows and competitions. So they go all in the backpack. And I keep them all together because, like, it's easier to have them all together rather than in, like, a mess because I never find them because I lose everything. Cool thing about this bag also it has a holder. I really like that. And then behind that I have a, my Matez half pad. Oops. <laughs> I have my Matez half pad, so it just looks like that. I leave it in the bag to keep it clean because it's white. And then I have my saddle pads. So I'll just give you a brisk like look. So I have like Shakamore Sports there, I have some pattern ones. Um, a lot of my dressage brides, escadrons, my Anki collection, which is currently missing one, I think. And then I'm also, um, yeah, I'm getting another pad from HVT Custom Designs. You should check them out. They are a fantastic brand. They make custom pads exactly how you want it, and they look amazing. So second down, I have my saddles. So 
The pink saddle cover is my dressage saddle. It's really cute. I got the cover from Snuggy Hoods. And then this is just a stock standard saddle cover that came. Oh, it got dark for a second. Is it not dark so much? I'm trying to make it not dark for you guys. Okay. Yeah, okay. So then there's just my jump saddle. And then underneath I have boxes, and in my boxes I have um, leads and oh, and ears and fly masks. So in here is just fly masks and um, like ears, and then I keep them all like folded usually. Oh, I have a brow bone as well. And then I have at the bottom boring old leg ropes, and then. If this wants to go back in. It's really hard fitting both saddles in here, I must admit. It kind of made a bit of a mess. And then here I just have um, spare helmets that I don't use anymore, but like if people come to ride the horses, then they can. And then here's my bridles. So I have my dressage Miklum here. So that's got a pretty brow band. And that's just a normal Miklum Rambo bridle from Horseway Island. Then I have my breastplate and my show bridle and that's with the orange brow band but I usually show with a navy brow band and then I have my jumping grackle at the end which I don't really use too much anymore but I like it so much and then here is my grooming gear so um I keep them all in like a shoe holder for my gear just because it keeps it organized and hangs it all on the wall and makes it really easy to see <sighs> so I have my um my scrubbing sponges. This one's really good. This is one of my favorites because it's like a sponge and a um, microfiber cloth. And then I have two microfiber mitts in there as well. And then here I have all my hoof stuff. So hoof peaks, um, hoof ointments in there, a hoof sticks in here, and just a um, hoof brush. And then I have hoof streaks in here. These are like staggerings. Don't judge me, he likes them and he won't eat apples or any normal horse treats, so he gets like one every blue moon when he's a good boy. Um, here we have sponges, nothing overly great, just sponges. Here's my to-do list, so I put all the things I need to do and I also keep my scissors and my pens and my folding ruler. Um, these are awesome because you can measure like horse heights and like um, saddle pads and whatever else you need to measure. And then here I have like mist stuff, so like a grooming block and a bot fly knife and just some chucks cloth. And then here's my dressage whip. It's not meant to go here, but I'm lazy and yeah, enough said. Um, here's my like sweat scrapers and also my shedding tool, which I'm it's my dogs, but I'm using it on my horse at the moment. And then here is um, makeup, so like champion tail stuff and um so like stuff you'd take to a show like glossing spray baby oil uh yeah like stain remover because beetles great hello um at the bottom i have a it's really dark it's hanging out so um i got this from new market saddlery it's a meant to be a curry comb thing that you can wash with but it's supposed to come with a hose attachment and it didn't and i'm really disappointed with that so i won't use that and then I have a face brush from Horseland, a soft brush from Busse. I can't say it, I'm assuming Busse, it's German, because it says Max uh, Reisport Schonauch means make writing better. Well, um, and then I have a blinged up brush that I used to use for shows. And then I have underneath. Uh, all my combs although it's missing some and it's also missing some stuff there and a old fake magic brush that I use because I'm poor and I can't afford the real one and just some like currying mitts and then if I can open this fucking door okay. and then in here is where I keep everything else all in organized boxes so I won't take out all of them because that'd be a pain in the bum oh that's where my rest of my grooming gears is um so these are a tray. You can get them cheap from IKEA and they just hold your grooming gear. Um, so I have a plain black brush. Oh, and I have some more gloves. Um, these are cheap from Audi, like five bucks or something, but I like them because they have like a leather grip inside. 
and when you're lunging they work really well without ruining your gloves um <laughs> beetle shedding can you tell um so i'm oh yeah that has like a riding brush in there and then um just some other grooming gear so that's that and then i have a woolen rug just there which i just got repaired so it's in a plastic bag and then i have my vet kit um nothing special just vet stuff like vet wraps and betadine and whatnot um the Melo Lynn is just dressing because Beetle cut his leg open once and I had spare dressing. Um, this one I have like show rugs, so like his Shockhamel sports rug and his quarter sheets and whatnot are in here. Oh, and his um, skinny hoods and whatnot. And then I have uh, spare gear in here, but it also holds my show gears, like my show halters and whatnot, um, because I ran out of pulls here. And then I can open up these ones for you guys. So these are my polar wraps. I just took out before I put some more stuff in because lol shopping a bit. So in here I have literally just a shitload of polos. I might organize that while we're at it. Just a shitload of polos. Ooh, sorry, a crap ton of polos. I don't think I can say shit. So it usually goes like that. I'm running, out of, I'm running out of space to put all these polos, which is actually kind of stressing me out because recently I could fit polos and boots all into one box and now I can't even fit polos into one box and these are like not small boxes, they're like really large so it's kind of bad to have that many polos but oh, oh. Um, oh yeah and also I have here his, you can't really see but I have a bit warmer on the cold days and then a orange roller um i don't really use it too much for side brains i just use it to sort of give something for beetles backing and then i have a body vest here and then underneath i have my horse boots oh and my side reins that i don't use um nothing special just horse boots that's the float boots um underneath i have like my favorite boots which are hoof glocking boots they're amazing That's really all for this corner, but I also do have my other rugs stashed away. So in here I have my Chinese clothesline, currently holding some rugs that Beetle ruined. He dragged them into his paddock on a rainy day, I don't know why, but he did. And then in here I have uh, just some rugs. That's Pretty much it on and i keep my halters up there rather than the ranks and they end up fading so that's just about it for now um yeah just be sure to like comment subscribe whatever um if you want to check out the salt leak i'll leave description uh links in the description um also leave my instagram in the description which i am updating more regularly than my youtube um, stay tuned, I've got an amazing video next week which I'm so excited to film. I'll probably film it um, either tonight or tomorrow night. Thank you for watching.